Hi, I'm Simon Richter. I'm professor of German and environmental humanities uh, here at the University of Pennsylvania in the Department of Germanic Languages and Literatures. I'm going to be your academic host for our river tour uh, cruising the face of Europe. But I'd like to welcome you now already virtually and uh, tell you a little bit about myself and what it is that I'm looking forward to. So as I mentioned, um, I'm from the Department of Germanic Languages and Literatures. In my case, that means that I do both German and Dutch, uh, which will be handy for our tour. Um, you see, I brought a prop along. Uh, this is a Dutch seaman's cap. Um, I probably will have it along if I don't lose it uh, when you see me uh, in Budapest and on the train because of my bald head, of course. Um, <laughs> at any rate, um, that will get us into the spirit of things. I am so looking forward to this trip. Um, it is incredible to imagine our being together on a boat uh, for two weeks, traveling two legendary rivers, the Danube and also the Rhine. Um, these rivers are utterly magical. If you've never seen them, you will be amazed at all the different landscapes that we see, all the different historical traces uh, that we uh, run into. Um, rivers are incredible because they are all, they're sort of timeless, they're historical, they're very contemporary and fresh, all of those things at one and the same time. These are rivers that have been traveled for thousands of years. Uh, in fact, beyond our memory. Uh, they were important in Roman history, so way, way, way back then, and they're just as important now, too. They're borders in some cases, they're uh, means of transportation, um, and they're also cultural landscapes for us. So I'm extremely excited about that. Um, we'll be traveling through various countries. We'll encounter different cultures, different languages. I think that that will be quite exciting, too. Uh, one of the things that um, I will be looking for, and I bet you will notice it too, uh, is the, way, uh, the ways in which an energy transition is taking place in Europe, and to what extent we'll be able to see that uh, from the boat and on the excursions that we make. And so one of the things I'm going to be talking about is on the various ways in which the countries we're traveling through are approaching the energy transition from fossil fuels to renewables, for instance, getting away from coal, for instance, and, and building windmills and uh, putting in uh, photovoltaic or solar uh, energy installations. Anyway, that's one of the things I'm very excited about. I really look forward to meeting you very soon, uh, and until then.